What is going on, guys? Gray here. Today, I'd like to talk about the daily rewards we get in the Elder Scrolls Online, how some of them are pretty useful and some of them are not so useful. Uh, I would like to see some changes in this. I would really like to see the crown crates come back to the uh, monthly rewards. Um, even if it's just one for the month, it would be fine. You know, at least we get one crate a month. Uh, I'm not sure if all of you have played the game for that long of a time to realize that that used to be something that was fairly common. It may not be every single month, but there was usually at least a crown crate in there. Uh, several times without the, throughout the year. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. The website, along with the discount code you can use at checkout, is linked in the description as well. Um, like I said, if you have not played the game for that long, uh, back when the daily kind of reward system came to be a thing in the game, uh, there was... Kind of the same rewards we get now. Uh, in my opinion, it's gotten to be more, uh, you know, like, like XP scrolls and things as of late, which is not bad. Um, if you're like me, though, I mean, I have hundreds of 50% XP scrolls. It is absolutely ridiculous how many I have saved up. Because I really just don't use them much anymore, unless there's some kind of XP event going on. Or if I'm grinding XP and I just want a little bit of extra XP. But for most of us that have played for a long time, even if you're like myself and you're not max CP and you've played forever, you're not really in a hurry to get to max CP. I mean, to me, it's just, you know, I, I really don't use them. So they just kind of sit there. Um, but there's some other things, of course, that are in, within those uh, daily rewards, like some of the different potions. The poisons are great. Uh, you don't have to worry about crafting poisons if you have a stam character, you know, if you want to put them on your bow or your two hand or your dual wield or whatever the case may be. Uh, some of the health uh, potions are good for tanks or, or just any character pretty much. But the one thing that I kind of miss is the crown crates. Uh, like I said before, uh, when the, the whole thing kind of came out, it, there was always a crown crate in there at least every couple months. There may not be a crown crate in there every single month, but I think crown crates as a reward would be great. Um, not quite the way they used to do it. I think it would, if they could handle it a little bit differently, I think it would be better if they would put the actual crate that's out at the time. So, you know, whatever month they decide to do a crown crate, it's whatever crown or whatever crate is actually available in the store. I think it would actually give people more incentive to log on and at least get the reward every day and probably play a little bit more if there was actually a couple crown crates each month. Um, I think it's going to give people more incentive to even go out and buy more, to be honest. Uh, I think it'd probably be good for their business because what's the odds of someone getting, a, you know, two or three crown crates in a month within their daily rewards and actually getting something worth anything? If you're RNGs like mine, you could buy hundreds of them. It doesn't matter. Um, but it's just the whole concept of the daily reward system right now doesn't really incentivize people to log in every single day, in my opinion. If you've played, like I said, for a really long time, like I have, there's really no rewards within the daily rewards that are actually worth having, unless maybe it's a pet, if you like pets, you know, non-combat pets, which a lot of people don't care. I have so many of them, it's not funny. Um, or maybe something like before when they added one of the house guests in, that might be something that people will enjoy. But overall, majority of the time, it's things, you know, like I said, like uh, XP scrolls. A lot of times it's been uh, things for like, uh, you know, just speed up your research well if you've played once again as long as i have and your research is done on everything you you know you have the master crafter title you really don't need to research things anymore i'm, I'm i don't have a uh, any plan to ever uh, you know have a different crafting character you know i have one character that does all my crafting on every single thing and that's you know what i use it for i really don't have the need to have another character do that so i would like to see some type of addition of crown crates because i just think it would be good uh for the player base i think players would enjoy it Maybe even mount something a little bit different to mix it up. I think the daily reward system is a great idea, like I said, to get people to log in. And you never know, people might log in and just get their reward and log off, or people might actually stay on and play. So, you know, it's good for the community in general. But overall, I think um, some type of system that would actually give benefit people for logging in and some things that actually give out good rewards. That's why I say I think Crown Crates would be great because that was a thing we had in the past. But as of late, it's kind of slacked off of how many of those we get. Uh, we only get a handful a year, even if we get in that many now. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, we'd like to hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.